skateboard tours where I take off on a Friday and I go check out uh, a couple of local skate parks here in southern Ontario because there's plenty I haven't been to. But today I am driving down to Carnegie, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Pittsburgh, uh, to go and skate uh, a really cool park down there, Pitcher Memorial Skate Park. So on two of our trips that my wife and I took down to uh, the Carolinas, on the way back, uh, we tried to stop at this park. One time we did, and it was uh, it had rained all night, and the park was just soaking wet, and we just didn't have time to wait all day for it to dry. And then the second time coming through, I had planned on going, uh, actually on my first solo mission, so we'll call this solo mission two. And on the first solo mission that I took in the spring, where I went down for a week, the plan was to go to Pitcher Memorial Skate Park, and of course on the last day, rained out. So, I am hell-bent to skate this park. It is really a very cool looking park. Big bowl system with a full pipe and a nice street, uh, street course. So, I'm closed today and tomorrow. I got two days off, and I am taking Chickpea and Ollie, and we're heading down to go skate for the afternoon, and then I got a little spot in a KOA campground down there. I'm gonna skate a bit tomorrow morning and then head back. So a lot of driving for a little bit of skating, but uh, if you're a skateboarder, you know that if you really want to skate a park, it's worth almost anything to get down there. All right, well, I got a bit of a drive ahead of me, about five hours today until I get to the skate park, and I got up late already, so I'm trying to make up some time on the road. We'll see you when we get to Pitcher Park. got some goods for me. I'm still wearing my pajamas. Well, I made the best use of this screw up that I could. I let the dogs out real quick, whipped up some breakfast, and now I'm on the road and at least I don't have to take a break for the next couple hours. So, got the dogs crated up because I got to cross the border and I always crate them for that. And then uh, I'll make a pit stop after I get over, let the dogs out, and I'll see you guys at Pitcher Park. I made it, seven hours. Three traffic jams, an accident on the highway, and then on top of all of that, I just got here, fired up the generator so that I could put the dogs in the air conditioning in the van. Generator's dead. So long story short, the 4,000 watt generator that we bought died right after our trip last week to Ohio. I think the heat melted the thing. And then uh, I brought our backup generator, our old generator, and uh, yeah. It just died too. So, luckily, my dog could train. I've got it over here in the shade. And it's not the ideal solution. Uh, but hopefully, uh, they can just hang out here. I didn't see any signs saying no dogs. And on top of that, look at this. I got the whole place to myself. So, let's get a few runs in. And uh, maybe I'll have the whole afternoon here by myself before I head to the campground. can't win them all and today I am not winning at all. Uh, I forgot to set my alarm, woke up an hour and a half later than I even planned to leave, forgot my skate stuff and had to go back. By the time I got here it was already after 3 p.m. it is now 4 30 and I am fucking toast already. It is uh, probably about 38 degrees Celsius out here today and then once you put on all the pads like it's just deadly to skate in. And uh, the generator blew so now, what am I going to do? So the dogs have actually been really good hanging here, but I'm going to call it for day today. And I think the plan is to just get here as early as possible tomorrow and skate all morning before the heat comes in and then head home. So let's go to the uh, campground and make the best of this day that we can.
Okay, that is enough for me for today. That was two and a half hours straight at the park. I did not stop even for a second. And I'm just taking these guys for a short walk now. And it's just in time because the, uh, the sun is starting to pop through the clouds. And man, I could, the, the humidity today already. I mean, just because it's a little cloudy, it's like 28 degrees with humidity and it's been brutal. But you know what? I made it down here and I wasn't so sure after yesterday that uh, this trip was going to be worthwhile. But with this morning being cool and cloudy and uh, having the dogs out at least, made for a really great trip and I got some good skating in and I finally got to skate this bowl. So now five hour drive back home. So let's load up the van and uh, get on our way. Another trip in the can. Solo mission number two, pretty good. Thank you.